So Paul, Paul's a really nice guy. And Paul let his friend borrow his truck. And uh, now we've got a truck back. A little buried. A little bit. I could describe a little bit of it to you. Um, under the snow here and here, pretty much all along, there's going to be large boulders. Probably behind it also. Okay. And I saw it when it was less snow than this. Okay. Um, looking at it at that time, everything on this side looks correct. So we don't want to pull straight this way because there's boulders in here. I think the easiest way, if the snow were to melt, it might drive out to the straight. Well, but what I can maybe do then is go off of that tree and pull it that way first into that clear area there to get past the boulders that are right here and then bring it up. Yeah, now what about getting the key in and then just make We sure don't need to do that yet. Okay. Yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, I might go off of that tree first and take So on, it. on the passenger side, there is damage. There's probably okay. just derives from these two trees. Okay. There's probably not frame damage. Okay. I mean, I, I started it, I got the wheels spinning, but it's just stuck. Okay. Um, um, well, maybe I I'll use that tree there to take it straight forward where it is. Yeah then bring it up right over here so that we get around what's in this. So are you thinking that it's possible to take it this way? Just like that? Oh yeah, the power to, but if there's boulders here... There are boulders here, and that would yeah. ruin the truck. Yeah. But also, I'm not terribly concerned about that, to be honest. Yeah, um, that's entirely possible to do, but... You're standing on a boulder right now. Yeah, that's probably why I'm not sinking in, so... <laughs> so we don't want to take it straight this way. Um, yeah, so there's the... I'm trying to feel where they're at. There's one here for sure. Yeah, and then there's one right next to you. I, mean, I think the Forest Service put them there to make somebody not do that. <laughs> okay, I'll, uh, I'll use that tree to take it this way. Okay. And then maybe... Oh, yeah, there's definitely no boulders here. Yeah. This guy make sure you're not gonna... <laughs> it's deep, Casey. Yeah, you're up to your... I have... I'm up to my waist. I'm just making sure we're not gonna yeah. hit anything bad right here. Oh. <laughs> you're gonna have random clips of the camera just going... You're just sinking. Yeah. At this point. I got it on camera. <laughs> okay. Oh man. Let's do this. I'm gonna back the truck up. Okay. And then hook down to it with the winch line. And then free spool my way forward and go over there and hook it up so that I'm not trying to drag winch line. Yeah, that. good call. Mess. The stuff on the edge here is plowed. Yeah. And then you hit the not plowed part. So you get a slight crust. Oh man. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Chevy tow hooks. He's just trying to do a nice thing for his friend, and this is what happens. That's why it's best not to have friends. Noted. Just be a loner your whole life. <laughs> Forever alone, just like Casey. Okay, I'm going to pull the truck forward so that I can snatch block off of that tree. Sounds like fun. I'll be down here. Yeah. This cable is going to move over. Somewhere. Yep, I'm going to get out of the way. But first, I'm going to watch you try to oh, maybe not struggle bus up the hill. <laughs> okay, I'm full forward. Okay, now it's walking through the snow with extra weight. Oh, I need a cable too. You want an extra set of hands? I'll come up there. No, I'll get it. All right. I don't want to toss this stuff down because we never see it again. Yeah, seriously.
<laughs> I thought on my knees would be better, it's not. No. Uh, something to be said for being on your knees, Casey. Family friendly, Ethan. Yes. I didn't say anything. There's a bunch of bushes underneath me. Yeah. Right here. So it's hollow underneath them. That's what I'm thinking into. Ah. Thanks, Casey. You're welcome. I don't start sweating. Yeah, sweat is the enemy here. It would be very bad. I don't have a sweater on any of these, just a jacket, but still. I know it would keep you cool, Casey. Snow bath? No, and I hate Casey Waddell t shirt. <laughs> yeah. I gotta make some hoodies of that so that yeah. people can wear them in the wintertime. It's a little inappropriate to be wearing just a t shirt out here. I might get down to that here soon. Yeah. Okay, come on up here with me. All right. I'll make the I'll make the trek. Okay, now that you cut a trail for me, we're good. That thing is in there. Now you could just brute force this out of there, couldn't you? Oh, 100%, yeah. But I don't want to hurt it at all. If I back up, I can put some lift into it. Yeah. And pull the front end up and over and get it up. Could you be Oregon's most famous tow truck driver? I'm not famous. I just have a lot of people know who I am. Is that... Maybe? Is that the same thing? Yeah, oh. totally different. 
totally different. Got more to be a more yeah more. On it, but we'll see how this works. Or maybe not. Come right on out. I think bringing the heavy was a good choice. Yeah, I thought like I thought about the little record, but it's like. Uh, I don't want to roll it. Just gonna go down the road, son. I think I'm gonna go down to that anchor point there. I don't know how steep the bank is right here under the snow. Yeah. I don't want that low side to fall in. We're here to recover the truck, not roll over. I mean, what kind of guy rolls a truck over on a recovery? Come on, man. Couldn't tell you. Everybody asks what these yellow rings are for. This is what they're for. Hybrid too, that thing can sneak right up on you.
got your tie rod. I mean, you got the tree hit here, but it didn't knock that out. Yeah, yeah. Bed side there. That was already damaged. Okay. So just this. Yeah, pretty much. Uh, the Fender? The part wasn't so bad, but... I'm put this up. So, it took a... This part was here. Okay. That was already there. That part wasn't. Okay. Is it gas uh, engine? It is gas, yeah. It might actually start then. Dead. Yeah. Well, that could be several reasons. That's a brand new battery. I wonder if something was left on. It could be. But yeah, I got nothing. Okay. The battery is like two days older than the actual. <laughs> now, what about this over here, though? Problem. That gap? Oh no. Can we just, I mean, honestly, I don't care about this truck. I've made that clear. Can we just drag it out and drag it up? Yeah, we can hook that. Yeah. Uh, just give it like two inches on either way. Okay. No, I'm happy. Just put it in neutral and. Yeah, we can tell it backwards out of here. Sure. Uh, let me unhook this then. Ethan, while I do this, yeah. you want to take a break, grab that shovel that's in there, start shoveling some of that stuff back off the road. Sounds good. We're doing body work. Carby Layton, is that you? Lock free spool in. Well, we're going to tow it backwards, just back into town here, but we don't want the tire rubbing, so... I think that looks perfect. A little more right here. Pull this forward now too. Robbie Layton ain't got nothing on me. You should have seen him when I sent him pictures of uh, how I fixed the uh, tailgate on my Ram after I nailed it with the track Jeep. Oopsies. Yeah. Professional work all the way through, really. He, he couldn't have done better himself. I believe it. Is that something you're actually good at? Yeah, but I'm, I'm, I'm good at body work, I'll admit that. This is the part where we pull on the front bumper to straighten it out and it sets off the airbag. Yeah, right. I'm that, bummed it won't start though. It could be a crash sensor, it could be in the cold out here, something was left on. Just yeah. This has been known to blow airbags. I don't think it will, but it's it's happening. Fantastic. Now that tire will free roll clear. We won't be hitting it on the anything. Cool. Yeah. I have my receiver piece to go in there, but that ain't happening. Rim sling.
Everything's so cold and like, it doesn't want to move. That thing basically held its shape. Okay, it's froze in place. So I've never been out there before. Oh yeah, there's store, community, neighborhood, everything. All the things. All the things. Oh yeah, get on it in your van. You'll be next. All right. He lost his drive shaft. Huh? He lost the drive shaft. Drive shaft's broken. to store my hammer. That would be really handy. Forget, you know, make it at the correct size for shackles and pull points, all that. No, hammer storage. Precisely. Dry shaft's broken. Right? Yeah, yeah. It must have been right on top of a rock. It looks like it twisted itself apart. Oh yeah, that's, that's what's dangling. Yeah, that's yeah. super broken. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, give me, since that dry shaft's broken, let's not do that yet because that means the transmission is not holding the rear end in place because they're not connected anymore. So let's wait till I get it hooked. That way we know it's not going anywhere. I need to get you some tiny forks for this thing. Huh? I need to get you some tiny forks for this thing. These are tiny forks. Well, you even see the big ones. Even smaller. Two-wheel drive and make sure it frees up. 
Do we want to clear any of the snow off before we get on the road? We're going to go up to the turnout that's plowed out up there at the end and back up to the side of it and knock all this off there because I don't want to dump it in the road here. I don't want it falling off like going down the highway. So we're going to see that up there. Uh, which one is neutral in the Chevy? Oh, there it is. There we go. Okay. Safety chain pockets. You really are an overlander, Casey. Always prepared. You can sleep in your car, you've got onboard air, you've got onboard traction devices. I do. A couple I, winches. I actually do. You're actually you're basic this truck is basically an overland vehicle. I don't have the cool guy uh, yellow flashing strobe lights on the back. Not yet. That all the Toyota people love so much. Those are expensive. That's yeah. why I don't have them. Exactly. I'm way too cheap for that. Join the club. Uh, we're not going to put the light bar on until we get up the road and knock the snow off so we can yeah. see what we can hook it to. Okay. I'm going to pull forward here. And then we can shovel the rest of the snow out of the road and then we can take off. All right. And just for reference, this was bone dry when he slid off the road? Was it uh, snow on the ground? It was just a little bit of snow, not like a little bit. And then the storm came in. So it was slick and icy, but it wasn't like you could see the ground. Yeah. You know, and the grass sticking up through and stuff. That's some advanced technique you got there. Many years of practice. Bet you you could frost a cake pretty good too, huh? I'm an expert. These are all things I am good at, Ethan. Shoveling snow, frosting cake. What was the other one? Uh, body work. Body work, body yes. Work. I'm a master okay. of body work. We're gonna have to, I'm gonna have to take you up on the frosting cake thing because I think that would be really funny. Hey, uh, a couple of years ago, yeah, some friends of ours, their birthdays are like uh, the same, a couple weeks apart, something like that. So they have a joint birthday. So we had told them that my wife and I were expert bakers. So they decided, well, you guys should have a competition and bake our birthday cakes, see whose is better. We're like, all right, we'll do that deal. So it's a competition between me and my wife to bake two birthday cakes for this party. And everyone at the party got to vote on them. So party time comes, people trying out these amazing cakes, loving them, they're really comparing them back and forth, all this stuff. What we didn't tell anybody is that we went to Fred Meyer and bought two ready-made cakes and put them on our own platters <laughs> and took to the party. <laughs> Maniacal. Maniacal. If I remember right, my wife still won. That's really funny. That is the true placebo effect. Working nine to five. He's a working man. Nine to five? Yeah, something I like that. I love those hours. Right. <laughs> like I said, this truck hasn't shut off in three days. Oh yeah. Maybe we can hook a light bar up to something now? Yeah, I'll probably figure it out. If not, we can do some more body work, make it fit. Hey, we didn't have to bend this, we just had to get all the snow weight off of it and it clear. Yeah, right? Whew. Made it. Perfect. Okay, let's go. I was gonna try to put it all the way back here, I bet.
That's as close as I can get it with that fence right there. I would say that's pretty good considering. If I had room to swing, ah, it's so close. You're super close. I'll take that. No, I got. I thought I was closer on the fence. I can. I can do this. Never good enough. forgive you just this one time Casey. Just this once? Just this once. But not next time? Not next time. Unforgivable next time. Nah. I'm gonna tell the boss that you can't park worth the dam. Oh we can straighten it. That's kind of straight right? Yeah. So this tow was free of charge to the customer thanks to a sponsorship from Elite Fleet Automotive here in Bend, Oregon. Elite Fleet does all kinds of automotive repair, but they are the absolute masters at front end and alignment work. So if you need any of that kind of stuff done, Elite Fleet Automotive, Bend, Oregon is your place to go. But what makes it even better is the customer still insisted on paying for this, even though I told him there was no charge, thanks to Elite Fleet Automotive. And uh, he still insisted that he pay, so I told him to pick his favorite charity and what he thinks he should pay for this tow. He donated to them, and he chose the Humane Society. So, thanks to Elite Fleet, he gets a tow for free. Uh, Humane Society gets a nice donation from the customer, and everybody's happy. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.